Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you are new, hello, welcome. So for today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my top Sephora sale recommendations. These are all the products that I recommend if you guys are looking into splurging. And if you didn't know, Sephora has the sale twice a year, usually in the spring and in the fall. So it's a big deal because they don't do it often. So if you're ever thinking about splurging, now is the time to do it. So these are my top picks, things that I think are worth a splurge, really great products and products that I would repurchase if I were to run out of them tomorrow, for instance, because that's usually the ultimate deciding factor on if I think a product is worth it or not. I hope you enjoy, grab a snack, get cozy, and let's get into it. First product I have is actually a skincare product that I'm just gonna kind of get out of the way because if you guys have been watching my channel, you know that I'm obsessed with this, but this is the Youth to the People Superfood Cleanser. I love everything about this cleanser. This is, I think, like my fourth or fifth bottle like in the past year. Maybe my fourth, because this does actually last a pretty long time. For nighttime, I absolutely love this. This removes all my makeup and any dirt. I feel like it gently cleanses the skin without stripping it and making it feel really tight and dry. I just get a nice, clean feeling on my skin, but it still feels nice and hydrated so I love this it foams really well you don't need a lot for it to get really foamy and it truly is my holy grail cleanser I love the packaging I love the ingredients I love everything about it it's so good and I will forever repurchase this this is my favorite whenever I switch it up that's usually when I start breaking out and even though my skin right now is not that great I still swear by this cleanser because it's so good next up I have a primer this is the Smashbox primerizer I talked about this in my last Sephora sale recommendations from last year but this is truly one of the best universal primers that I feel like would work for for anybody. This is a primer where I feel like there are a lot of really great alternatives and I've mentioned a lot of them that I love. But with this primer, I do feel like it is worth it. If you do decide to splurge, I think it's worth the splurge. It's so good. It works with literally any foundation, any concealer. It is the best and one of my favorite makeup bases to use because it gives me just the right amount of hydration and a moisture that my skin needs without weighing it down. So it's perfect, like I said, with any foundation. It will help to prolong your makeup and this feels like a really light kind of gel moisturizer and it gives your skin this really light kind of supple healthy glow and you don't need a lot so this is a product where it's expensive but it will last you a very very long time the next product that I have I don't think I've ever actually talked about this on my channel because I've been using this more so off camera but it's really good so this is the Fenty Beauty bright fix eye brightener so this to me is basically like a two-in-one product so you could use this as like an under eye corrector like if you want to use it under concealer but you could also use this as like a very lightweight concealer for everyday makeup as well I think this is really pretty under a maybe more natural medium coverage concealer because this Fenty product will provide a bright under eye look while still giving you a little bit of coverage but keeping your skin looking very natural and fresh under your eyes which I'm all about. I love the formula. It blends really nice and I just love the coverage of it because most color correctors don't really have a lot of coverage but this does everything that you need it to and more so that's why it's a great product whether you want to use it under concealer or just on its own. It's really pretty and all you have to do is just set it with a powder and you're good to go. So I'm in the shade Melon and I personally really love this under the Rare Beauty concealer concealer it just gives me such a creamy like full coverage kind of a look because the rare beauty concealer has a natural medium coverage which I'm going to talk about in a minute because this is my next recommendation but this product is beautiful it melts into the skin it has great coverage but it's not a super full coverage concealer it's definitely more natural and for like that everyday kind of person but if you ever want to like amp up the coverage a little bit and just make it a little bit more intense using the Fenty eye brightener underneath is such a good combo like it brightens without making your under eyes look too light. So the Fenty Eye Brightener is a really good product I feel like to use maybe if you want to enhance any concealer that you have, you're not crazy about the coverage, use this underneath, use your favorite concealer over top, and then just look at the magic. And what's really cool about using this as well is that you don't need a lot to get that really bright natural under eye. And then whenever you do go in with any concealer over top of the eye brightener, you don't need to use as much because this Fenty corrector gives you so much coverage. For it just being a corrector, it's amazing and I just love the formula of it. So a Obsessed. This combo is really good too for every day. And I also love the shade range, which of course you guys know Fenty always kills it, but there's a lot of really good correctors, but they usually only come in like two or three shades. So I appreciate all the shades that they have in here because this is such a good product. So yeah, the next product was the Rare Beauty Concealer, but you guys kind of saw both of these. They work hand in hand together. I love the Rare Beauty one on its own as well. It's a really great concealer, like I said, for every single day. The formula is just like very velvety, moussey, just melts into the skin. So yeah, this combo right here is everything. Let's chat about 
about some cream products now. So I have really been loving the Soft Sculpt Shaping Stick from Makeup by Mario. I'm in the shade Light Medium. If I have a little bit more color to me or I want something a little bit darker, I will go in with the shade Medium, but Light Medium is kind of just like that everyday natural shade that gives me like a little bit of a bronzy look without being too much. But I love the undertone to this because I feel like it's very neutral. It's not too warm and it's not too ashy or gray on my skin, but it definitely provides a little bit of both. So I think it's perfect for bronzing or contouring as well. I really don't like the brush on this. I personally don't use it, but it's an option if you're ever on the go or if you do like brushes that are kind of built into products, it's there. But I personally really like this with my e.l.f. Complexion Duo brush. The product is so effortless. You don't really need to spend a lot of time blending it because it kind of just does it on its own. Honestly, once you place a product, all you have to do is just go in with a brush for like just a few seconds and it's like, bam, instantly blended, instantly sculpted cheeks. It looks so good. And the formula of this is really nice too because it's not too harsh, but it's also buildable. So I'm super impressed with this and love this formula. And I also wanted to mention the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Bronzer. This is a really great formula as well, but I do prefer the shades and like the undertones to the Makeup by Mario one. But I wanted to mention this because if you are a tanner, a little bit darker than me, this shade Amber, I like whenever I do have a tan. It is such a perfect shade. I feel like it's a little bit too orangey for me right now because I am like very pale at the moment. I have like no color to me. But if you can find your shade in the Anastasia Cream Bronzer, this is another really great formula that I love. I love the packaging. You get a lot of product in here, so this will also last you forever. It's a really also very easy product to work with, just like the Makeup by Mario one. Another cream product that I absolutely think is worth a splurge is the Double Take Cream and Powder Blush from Patrick Ta. This one is in the shade Do We Know Her? And this is so innovative. Like you get a cream product in here and a powder product. So I feel like it's very ideal. It's nice to just have the cream and the powder here together. They work hand in hand. They complement each other really well. And these are so pigmented and beautiful on the skin. I wonder if you guys can hear the wind. It is like intense out there. Whew. I also love the fact that the cream product has a little lid over top of it. Like it's like the little things. I love when brands kind of take that into consideration and Patrick Todd does that with a lot of his cream products in his palettes. He does put the little cover over top, which I really love. So yeah, both of these go hand in hand together. The cream is a little bit brighter than the powder blush, but they still complement each other beautifully. I love the cream blush even on its own. If you just set it with a translucent powder, that's really beautiful as well, but it's always nice to have the powder blush there just to really enhance that if needed and also just make it it lasts a little bit longer, but this formula is very long lasting on its own. I love the shades. I want to actually get a couple more colors in this because I love this one so much. This is definitely like a go-to kind of summer shade, but definitely something that I still like to use even now in the fall because these are like my tones. I feel like more brands need to do this, especially now that cream products are so in. This right here is genius. I wanted to shout out the Rare Beauty Liquid Blushes. I talked about this in my fall favorites video, but I wanted to mention it again because red blush is it, you guys. I, this will look good on everybody and the Rare Beauty Liquid Blush Formula is everything. This is definitely a good splurge item also because you need like the tiniest bit to get the most beautiful wash of color so it will last you forever. Like I've joked about this before but I will have this until I'm like 30 because you get so much product in here and you just need the tiniest bit. It is so pigmented but it blends really easily. So the shade that I have is Grateful. It is a bright red. I know it looks very intimidating but this will look good on everybody. Like a good red blush is a must. It looks good with any makeup look, any skin tone. It blends really easily and it's a lot more wearable than you think so get into red blush and it's gonna last you years like such a long time speaking of rare beauty i wanted to shout out their eye primer i really really love this eye primer and i have a lot of favorite drugstore eye primers as well but something about this formula and like just the way that it looks on the lids is so pretty and effortless so it just comes in one shade and what i really like about this is that the formula blends really easily and it's lightweight without being too drying or too matte on the lids but it's also not too tacky or wet feeling as well like it just has the perfect natural finish for your lids so i like to apply this all over the lid and then blend it out with a brush and you can just see it gives such a pretty kind of just like natural wash of color it almost like enhances your natural lid so removes any veins or discoloration that you may have and just gives you such an even smooth canvas for eyeshadow even if you're not wearing any eyeshadow I think even just for like an everyday makeup look if you do have veins or any discoloration that you want to kind of conceal in a very natural way without using like a thick heavy concealer this is a nice primer to just dot on and blend out really quickly and just leave it as is or you could set it with like a translucent powder or something over top 
top and it just makes your lids I feel like look so pretty this is another product that I've had for a while and I've been using up a ton and I still have so much product in here left so I feel like you definitely get a lot for your money when it comes to rare beauty and the quality is just always on point point. and the last complexion product that I have here is from Charlotte Tilbury this is the airbrush flawless setting spray I'm sure you guys have seen this going all over TikTok and social media it went viral for a reason because it's actually a really good setting spray it will lock your makeup into place like this is no joke like especially if you have oily skin or combo skin you will love this this is definitely something that I like to use for special occasions because it is very intense but it's a good setting spray that is basically like Gorilla Glue for your face like when you spray this your makeup's not going anywhere it does mattify my skin so whenever I do use this I like to make sure my skin is nice and dewy and fresh and hydrated and then go in and spray this and sometimes if needed I will spray like something dewy or some sort of like kind of refreshing spray underneath and then top it off with a spray just because it is so matte but I'm telling you guys it's really good and will actually keep your makeup in place all day they also have a smaller bottle if you don't want to commit to the big one and I feel like if you're like me you're not going to use it every single day and maybe you want to use it or save it for special occasions you could get away with getting the small bottle as well but I do think this is worth it and this is it I love the spritzer on it as well it sprays really nicely it smells really good and your makeup will not come off until you physically remove it with makeup remover like it's that good the last product that I wanted to mention is from Fenty this is the gloss and this one is specifically is the cream gloss balm in Fenty glow which is just like the universal shade I love this color I also love honey waffles as well but I feel like Fenty glow is a universal color for literally anyone this will look beautiful on everybody it's just a good everyday gloss and ever since Fenty Beauty launched their glosses have always been like my favorite product out of their entire line it's just something about the formula the smell just the way your lips look you just cannot go wrong with Fenty glosses but whenever they launched their cream formula I was even more impressed because there's no shimmer or glitter in this it's just a creamy wet glass juicy lip gloss and your lips will look amazing the shade Fenty glow on me personally is like a natural kind of rosy pink so it sort of looks like your lips would better that's why I feel like the shade will look good on everybody and it's just gonna enhance I feel like your natural lip color and just make everything look so juicy and wet and these are not a plumping lip gloss I'm not a big fan of the plumping formula but I do like the cream formula the best I think I might even like this more than their shimmery formula it just makes your lips look like straight up glass like it's amazing and this is not a sticky formula and it just gives your lips the perfect amount of pigment so this is another kind of like forever favorite so those are all my top picks for the Sephora sale I know it's not a lot but I also didn't want to like overwhelm you guys with like 30 different products because obviously this stuff is expensive so that's why I really tried to narrow it down to like my top holy grails products that are constantly in rotation that I'm using all the time on camera off camera and that again I would repurchase and that I feel like are totally worth the splurge so hopefully I didn't forget anything but I hope you guys enjoyed if there's any other must-haves that you love from Sephora that you recommend let me know because you know I'm gonna be shopping the sales so look out for a haul coming within the next couple weeks but just in general if there's anything that you guys want me to test out in any upcoming videos leave me a comment so thank you guys for everything I love you all and I'll see you very soon in my next one bye